YouTube channel. Today is moving day. As you can see, I've added quite a bit to the fleet. A lot of new trucks, a lot of new equipment. And we just kind of uh, outgrowing this space. We, we need a bigger space, so I bought a property just down the street. And uh, today we're going to be moving to that property. But first, what I'm going to do is uh, drive the old Chevy down. And uh, I'll give you a tour of the new facility, which came with a farmhouse and barn. And uh, we dug a pond. So, yeah. So it's right down the street. So, pop in the old 1500, get her going. As you can see off in the distance here, still got a little work to do. Um, not much, but uh, still got just a little bit of work to do before I make it. Uh, Forge complete. As you can see, we excavated quite a big pond here. Want to have a little fun in there. All right, so this is a new Showboat Construction headquarters. As you can see, that's my excavator because we was digging a pond out over here. And um, yeah, this is it. I'll just park this rig right here. And uh, yeah, this is it. It's a new building. Uh, got a shop in here. Eventually put like a lift or something in there. A couple of vending machines. You know, a shop office here. Desk, workshop, vacuum and stuff. And we got an office here. Nice little office. And got my computer set up over there. And you go in here, and this is the other side of the shop where I can pull. And I can actually pull my biggest excavator in here, the 385C Caterpillar, fits right in. So I can pull that in, work on it. Got plenty of parking. So I'll add fuel stations. I'll probably put a couple of lifts out here. Just a bunch of different stuff that I can do. So yep, yeah, this is it. This is the shop. And uh, I guess I can go show you the farmhouse too. Drive all over. Um, Leave in the comments, should I keep this farmhouse? Because I really want to, um, I got a lot of area in the back because it's a big piece of property. I'm going to build my dream home in the back here. It's like farmhouse, um, farmhouse here, barn. I was thinking about tearing this house down, putting a horse stable here, or keeping it and just adding a small horse, um, horse pasture here. Just like one or two horses, nothing huge. And um, it's pretty cool. I like this barn. It's got a lot of space and storage and whatnot. A lot of different, you know, areas. You can go in, park stuff. It's got a nice little workshop, you know. Kind of a shop away from the shop, you know. And uh, yep, yeah, that's that's about it. This is my pride and joy right here. This pond. I dug all this myself. Yep, yeah. nice water, nice pond. And uh, we'll be getting a boat, so you'll see a boat floating around in here pretty soon. Just something to, you know, spin around a couple of times, have a little fun with. And, uh, yep, yeah, that's it. So, um, I'm going <clears> to <throat> get the rest of the equipment moved over here. And so, uh, let's get into it. This is a 40-foot 40 40 foot trailer. Yeah, it's kind of stacked, kind of rough, but it's just, we ain't got far to go, so it's no big deal. I'm really liking this truck. Really liking that truck. So. Get your own out, pull it out of here. She's got quite the load on her. Yeah, I like this Kenworth. Um, I'm going to eventually buy another KW. 
Um, I was thinking about trying out a Peterbilt as well, so. We'll see what happens. Um, I still got, like I said, I still got some work to do. I'm gonna put some fencing up around this pond, so. Because this little service road that heads to the house, you see, as you can see, it gets kind of close to that pond. And I don't want nobody to drive on in the pond, so. Gonna kind of uh, get that squared away. I'm just gonna park this here for the time being. Figure out where I want to park everything. Alright, we go to the old international pulling the case. Getting it done. Yep, moving day. Actually, this is a big, big text trailer. I wish they made this trailer in a, a longer version of this trailer because I really like it the way it pulls. So um, this this track is a little too big for this. I'm probably going to use this with that little. Uh, oh, ooh, about to pass my place. You tell us, Nick, because I'm about to pass it. <laughs> uh, if they made a longer version, I would use. Uh, Use use uh, more of these trailers, but like I say, this is the only version they're making. I think it's only 25 foot, something like that. It's not very long. I think that's 25 foot, five foot dovetail. Excavator is about to come off of it. It's all right. Oh, what's going on here? It's the old international. I got a load of rock in there. That's why it's probably like it's want to pop a willy. With the old pup trailer. I like this Western Star, but I'm going to trade it in on a uh, Peterbilt. I just don't like the way it pulls. And uh, it's quick and all that stuff. I just don't. just doesn't uh, it's real tippy for some reason but all for all for having all these axles it shouldn't be that tippy it's got it's got good power but what's what's what good is the power you see this area back here? This is where I'm going to build my dream home. Like I said, I got a little work to do. Some excavating. You know, get rid of some of those trees. Put trees in. I'll just park that right there. Alright, so we'll take the other international. This is my first truck I started with. And that's why I got the roller and skits here on it. And I'm probably going to get rid of this trailer too. It just ain't heavy enough and I'll end up tearing it up. And I'll swap that for a 40 foot uh, bumper pull trailer for this truck. So, yep, it's progress. But yeah, I'm loving the place so far. And, uh, I'll end up selling that property back there. What should I keep it and just run like my landscape division out of that property? <clears throat> Let me know down in the comments what you think I should do with that particular property. Should I sell it or keep it? Run everything from over here or just run the actual landscape division from over there? Because that won't grow to be too, too big. You know, a couple of zero turns and uh, John deal with, with a uh, bat wing. That's about all it's going to get. Alright, so I gotta jump in the Mac with the, the road grader on it. Oh, not the Mac, actually, this is Volvo with the road grader. Triax of Volvo, which has really been a good truck. So, I got nothing bad to say about these Volvos. Been an excellent truck, pulls good. 
I mean, it's not the strongest, but I mean, it does pull good. And I like the way it, way it toes. If I want power, I have to go to that Peterbilt or KW. <clears throat> but uh, for pulling this road grader, like when I was pulling that big D10 dozer, I probably used uh, Kenworth or something. Something a little stronger. And I got to get that tag axle for this trailer, so that makes it a lot easier as well. So yeah, guys, I'm just parking this stuff here, you know, for the time being. So I get everything moved, and then I'll figure out where I'm going to put it all. Got plenty of room, so that's no problem. Oop. I forgot that was back there. All right, so we got the loader. And what else we got down here? Oh, and that's it. So I'm moving the old loader, and this is the last piece. Oop. This is the last piece of equipment from here. And then I got a, a dozer, two dozers I got to go pick up. And I think that I can get both of those on the low boy. So, But we're going to see. See how it goes. This Mac is all right, but that's decent power. I think the Volvo is a little stronger, but it does all right. I might keep it around. But uh, I'm definitely gonna have to invest in another dump truck. So that's what I got my my eyes on. Here's my turn. This trailer does all right too. So yep, shovel construction. You know, make a making more money. We've done more jobs. Um, it's just been great. So what I'm gonna do now is all right. So. I got all my stuff moved in. Um, here's a John Deere Batwing tractor. First Z turn I ever bought, which was uh, an old school John Deere. Um, Big Cat 385. Um, like I said, I got everything lined up. That's the KW. So I'm getting ready to purchase a Peterbilt. I'm going to sell this Western Star in this pulp trailer here. Yeah? I just don't like the way it drives. And uh, I'll purchase a Peterbilt. Uh, probably a dump truck, I would think. Yeah, probably just buy another Peterbilt dump truck. Or um, a semi so I can haul the D10 because the old Volvo act like it didn't want to move. So um, let's try Axel, but it's just, you know, doesn't have enough horses. So I'll get a Peterbilt or another Kenworth to haul that the heavy stuff and um, yeah I'm gonna be buying another Ford F-350 regular truck to pull um, I forgot what I was supposed to pull with it but I'm just gonna be buying another truck another pickup truck and a uh, that's about it for now so I got two trucks to buy I got to sell one and go buy two and uh yeah. Things are going pretty swell, but yep. So that'll wrap it up for today. And um I'll see you on the next one. I want uh remember to like and subscribe and uh thanks for watching.